Hello, today in this tutorial, we will talk about how to create custom channel art like the one shown here for your YouTube channel. Channel art is the first impression of your channel to a new visitor, so it is really important. We will be using Inkscape to easily and quickly create an image by blending multiple images and following YouTube specification. So the first thing that we will do is talk about specifications. So let's get started. I have created a template for uh, the specifications uh, that YouTube has given us and please note that the specifications are in pixels. So uh, there are different specifications for different devices. For instance for TV it is 2560 pixels by 1440 pixels whereas for mobile devices it is 1546 pixels uh, by 423 pixels. Uh, and hence there are different uh, specifications for tablet and desktop. Uh, you will notice that the green box uh, says that text and logo safe area. What does that mean? Uh, so any information, any important information about your channel, any logo, you should put here. Uh, why? So let's say if I put some uh, information uh, here where the cursor is, uh, I won't be able to see that information on mobile device or uh, tablet or desktop either. So it's better. Uh, to always put your information here in this within this uh, green boundary uh, to see that information on all the devices. So uh, that is one of the most important thing about these specifications. So keeping these specifications in mind, let's get started uh, and let's go on to Inkscape uh, to create our image. So this is how Inkscape looks like. Uh, the first thing that we will do is go to File, Document Properties. Uh, uncheck show border shadow in the custom size click uh, pixels from the unit select pixels from the unit and we will be selecting the maximum size which was 2560 by 1440 let's just check it again so this was the specification for, uh, for TV 2560 by 1440 so click here the next thing we will do is uh, click on snap to page border. Make sure that is checked. From the rectangle tool, create a rectangle. So as you can see, the, uh, because we clicked on this snap to page border, uh, it is always snapping to uh, the page border and it is easy for us to create a rectangle uh, according to the specifications that were given. So let's have black color. Okay. The second thing that we would like to have is uh, create another rectangle. Um, okay, before even before that, let's go to object, open up fill and stroke, and also open from the object align and distribute menu. Okay, now uh, let's create another rectangle. It will be again a black color, obviously, uh, but let's change the color. Uh, let's in fact go to file and stroke remove the color entirely but let's have a create a stroke and let's create a stroke width of three okay uh, let's also create uh, change the color of this stroke so on your keyboard may uh, from your keyboard press shift and select any color so as you can see uh, the red color is uh, now onto the stroke width okay the second thing we would like to do is change the uh, dimensions. We will like to change the dimension, uh, make it similar to the green box, so which is 1546 by 423. So select this tool. It was 1546. Oh, also make sure that it is selected as pixel. So that is one mistake that I did. 1546 by 423 press enter okay and now this is the green box uh, of that image uh, let's make it green to be safe okay this is the green box now select go to the selection tool and select all the images Go to Align and Distribute menu and select 
click center on vertical axis and click center on horizontal axis so now this green box is now center of the image okay so let's see what we what next we have to do uh, so the next thing that we will do is uh, import the image so go to file click on import you also have a keyboard shortcut of control i okay let's go to the image that we have oops okay so the first image i want to select is this little camera and the image is here uh, press control on your keyboard and move this uh, arrow to make it match the size of the green box approximately so okay this is uh, the first image let's move it here okay now let's create a rectangle on top of it so it will snap easily uh, go to the fill in stroke menu we do not want the stroke here and we do want to fill so the default was black so it turned black second thing we want to do is click on the create create and edit gradients and we will uh, choose radial gradient from the fill and stroke menu so you, you can see you can slightly see the image now uh, which is underneath the black rectangle uh, let's zoom a little bit from your keyboard uh, to just press plus plus or minus on your keyboard will zoom in, zoom in and out. Okay. Uh, you will see that there is a, a, a circle here and a rectangle here on the gradient tool. Click on the outer uh, circle and let's create, uh, let's give it a color of black. Uh, okay. And let's click on uh, the inner uh, square and let's give it a color of white. So, okay, now let's double click on the on these lines and we will create another point. Click on the point and let's again give it a white color. Okay. One thing I would like to do is select the outer, rectang uh, outer rectangular black box and reduce the opacity so that you can see the image slightly. Okay. Uh, the next thing I would like to do is Go under the selection tool, select both the images, go on to object, mask, and set and release. So now you can see the image uh, to a good extent. Let's take it back to our actual template and let's reduce the opacity to some extent okay this looks good okay so now you got the idea how i blended this image with the background of black uh, let's do this do the same with other images uh, let's select the second image press control and reduce the size approximately to match the green uh, rectangle okay We'll do the same thing with this image as well. Let's take it here. Make sure it is not snapping. It's slightly hard to navigate here. Uh, take another rectangle, snap it on top of it. Uh, make sure it is black in color. The opacity is reduced, so it's fine. Uh, let's go to the gradient tool again. Oh, I guess it is not selected, so. Okay, go on to the radial gradient. Uh, again, the outer circle we want it black, uh, the inner one as white, and we will create another double click to create another node. And we want it white as well. Uh, let's move it back onto the image so that we can have a better idea. Click on the gradient tool again. This time I want to move it slightly so that, okay, let's move it inwards slightly so that it blends beautifully. You can also move this in and out 
and you can press control so that it you need control and shift and then move it uh, so let's press shift control and then move this so that you can see it is uniformly moving in but I don't think we need that right now okay this looks good now go to selection tool and select both the images go to object mask and set so this is how our image looks like now let's move it somewhere here let's zoom in a little bit and I want to reduce the opacity to some extent I guess 59.3 looks good we can okay 59 looks good okay now let's do the same thing with the, our other image this is our third image again press ctrl on, from your keyboard and reduce the size of this image by pulling the arrow key uh, we want to make it fit the box to an approximation you don't have to be precise here okay let's move it down a little bit take another rectangle move it on top of it uh, mark it black color let's increase the opacity to some extent okay let's choose the gradient tool and from here we will take radial gradient again the same thing choose black color white and for this image let's just zoom in a little bit you can play around with this however you want it so for this image i want it to be slightly like this so that uh, the road the circular road is in focus and I want this part only. I don't want a second snap, uh, second node on it. On this one, let's see how it looks. If it looks bad, we will go back, undo it. Object mask set. So this is how it looks like. Okay. So let's zoom out and move this image in the center. Okay. Because we were masking the black uh, with the black layer, uh, it is easily uh, blending with the other images. As you can see, you can move this up or down. Uh, for instance, if I want this image to be uh, down one step, we can do that. So this image onto the left comes on top. Uh, we can do that. All all those kind of things. So this is our, how a third layer, a third image looks like let's import the final image which is this one okay again reduce the size or for this one we can do one quick thing you can just go to the width 2560 by 1440 because we want it to be similar to the size of the actual uh, image this is how it will look move it one step uh, in the lower so the first image comes up second third and the third so this is how uh, we moved our images up and down so now uh, keep it selected and we will reduce the opacity from filling stroke oops i don't know why okay now this uh, opacity tool is here so you reduce the opacity as per your liking so that uh, it is not too bright or too uh, popping up it, it should not pop up uh, we want the text in, uh, in the middle to actually pop up so you want the background to be as light uh, or as less opaque as possible so I guess this looks good so as you can see the image has blended uh, with all the other images this background image has blended beautifully the next thing we would like to do is add text so click on the create and edit text objects uh, click on the image give your title which was dream photography go to text text and font 
select the text uh, font that you want uh, I will select Wine and ITC and from the drop down menu from this menu actually not the drop down select white color you can zoom in a little bit go to the selection tool and click on it increase the size just copy it and paste one more thing Every Tuesday, and let's paste one more time, and let's say to those who love photography. For this one, let's reduce the size a little bit. Okay, now let's zoom out a little bit. Press shift, select all the text and this outside box. Oh, the screen box. Okay, go to the align and distribute menu. Click on center on vertical axis so that everything is aligned. We want to get rid of this green box. Go to file, export PNG images. <laughs> And okay, here you have you just give the uh, location where you want to save and just click export. So, this is how you create uh, your custom channel art on Inkscape. Uh, this is very simple, you can blend in different multiple images, uh, change text, give your logos. Uh, it, it should be very simple and easy. So, uh, that's all that we have in this tutorial for you. Please uh, do let us know how you like this video. Uh, let us know if you have any questions in the comment section. Uh, please do like, share and comment and please subscribe our channel. Thank you.